Hi there, it's Dawn. It's August 23rd and as promised the results of my Doppler testing for CCSVI this morning at TCFMI in Toronto. If you want a, information on how you can get tested covered by OHIP follows the Zamboni protocol. Here's the website to check out and here's what you get oh, upon leaving. This is my proof. I tested positive for CCSVI and I couldn't be happier. I know if I was a healthy human being, being told that you have blocked veins would probably not be a good thing, but in my case, my jugulars, yeah, well, one of them anyway, so far, ain't working. Uh, just to let you know how it actually goes, you go in, you get your gown, uh, they take you into the ultrasound room and you lie down. And the technician started with his wand on my right uh, side of my neck, uh, took some pictures, took some clicks, and you hear some um, portions where you can hear the blood flow going. And then he went to my left side and started doing the same thing. Uh, paid particular attention to right here on my left side right here on my left side and then followed all the way up all the way to right above my ear he was up that far with the ultrasound on my left side testing taking pictures um, and checking out the blood flow uh, you can kind of see you know the red the blue the red the blue going back and forth and they take a picture of that I'm not sure what it all means when they sat then they sit you up and I mean they sit you straight up and again, he went along my right side, seemed to go very quickly over my right side. So I'm assuming that that's good. Uh, but when again, when he got to my left side, paying particular attention to right here, right here, and again, far up on my head, like right above my ear. And I could see the red, the blue, the red, the blue, the red, the blue, however those pump through. But on my left side, the blue would pump and then the red would pump and then the red would go back over to where the blue was and I don't think that's any good so uh, he kept pointing at the screen at certain parts to the woman that was taking the notes and it was, seemed to be on my left side so that was it uh, the whole thing took about 15 minutes and when he was done he handed me a couple of towels to clean all the goop off me and uh, um, you know I was so thankful that they did the test and I told him so how thankful I am that you know we can be tested and he said you know you're welcome and, and said to me that last week in one day he had tested 15 people with MS for CCSVI now I was so high at the results because I said to him so you know I know you can't tell me too much but do I have blockages uh, and refluxes or something going on there and he kind of smiled and said yes and uh, I, again, I got weepy, so I didn't get to ask him how many MSers he's treating or testing that have blockages. Not that he could probably tell me anyway. But he did mention, um, I said to him that I was going for treatment October 1st. And he said, when I have the treatment, just to uh, be sure if I do have stents, the exact placement of them, because he would like to know that as TCF. TCFMI will also be doing follow-up testing on people who have gone for the procedure. So if you've already been and you want to get followed up, you can contact TCFMI for that. They like to see you one month after, three, six, nine, and 12 months. So um, yay, it's official. I have CCSVI. Now it's just 38 sleeps to go till I'm in New York and they can fix whatever this nice technician found wrong today. So I'm pretty excited. It's a great day. Of course, I'll keep you up to date. And as my sister always says, angioplasty for all. Anything less is unacceptable.